Good morning YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. The last time I did a video, we discussed this bat these batteries and what I intended to do, for do with them. So before we get into that, as you can see, before we get into that, let me give you a little bit of history, what I've done and then what results I'm getting. I had received a 48 volt set of forklift batteries and after spending a considerable amount of time and money trying to charge them I gave up so what I did was I broke it up and I took 17 to a recycler and I left seven of the seven I have one here that has a cracked case and then I have this six and these two are my problem batteries. They are very heavily sulfated. So what, so what we have is, I have four good batteries and two that are not so good. So what have I done over the last few days? Well, before I get there, please, if you're here to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. And if you like what I am showing you, give me a thumbs up. So what have I done over the last few days? We've been charging it using 500 watts in panels sorry 600 watts in panels to 300 watt panels and we've been seeing anywhere between 18 and 20 amps constantly at 12 volts what do we see happen well this one this one this one and this one happen to be good so we're getting very good specific gravity readings from them when we use our hydrometer and we check they are right on blue or green which is very good this and this where when you use a hydrometer you see water it says you have water in your batteries but over the last few days it they started to creep up very slowly now one thing that i noticed or one thing that i i mentioned in my last video was that these two were getting very warm they weren't hot but they were warm not to the point I couldn't put my hands on it. First of all, we're not pushing enough current to create that much heat. But the top, the top portion of the battery on both sides were getting pretty warm. And then what I saw when I opened the battery was the white stuff. Um, on one, one day I saw the white stuff floating on top and then it disappeared. So the white stuff, what happens with uh, flooded batteries is the acid turns hard. That's what sulfation is. And when the acid gets hard, it, it reduces the capacity of your battery. So what to prevent sulfation from happening or to prevent the acid from uh, turning hard, you overcharge these batteries. And that's what an equalization charge does. So you're, you, you know, they su suggest you do it every 30 days, especially if you're not fully charging these batteries every day. Well, my forklift battery sat for seven months six months with no charge that was one we already got them with serious problems when we got them and then after trying for two or three days to charge them when we'd actually under charge them for about three months prior to that and then after trying for two or three days to charge them we gave up and went back to our lithium-ion batteries so there was very serious case issues of sulfation on these two um, on some of them when we opened them you could see the white stuff this particular one had white stuff at the top, you know, the white, pow solid, powdery looking stuff. So that's what sulfation looks like. So we put water in them. Um, we put the steel water in them. We got the steel water from air conditioning units. And then we've been charging them gradually every day. Now, what is the exciting part and what is the non-exciting part? Well, the exciting part is that the people who I've connected, as you could see the inverter is on right now. You can see the green light is on. You can see there is power. At night, get seven to eight hours of electricity, which is much, much more than they would experience if they were on the national grid. The downside is at about 2 a.m., 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., the system shuts down completely. Um, initially, it was shutting down at 5 a.m., now it's shutting, it started shutting down at 3 a.m., now it's shutting down at 2 a.m. System goes completely down. So it comes on at 7 p.m. 
and it goes up between 2 and 5 a.m. Yesterday, this morning, it went off at 2 a.m. So the system would completely shut down, we will turn the inverter off, and then we start the charge process all over again. So what is exciting me, even though I'm not getting the results I want immediately, is that the white stuff is breaking down. The heat is beginning to travel. So initially the heat was um, limited the top one eighth of the battery. It slowly moved a little further. So it's gone from here to about here. So if this continues over a period of time, there's a possibility we could, rec we could recover some capacity from this battery. As you could see, I put a 1S balancer, and you could see it's red. Um, the red indicates that it's pulling charge out of this one that's high, and it's putting it into this one that's low. This, is, has, this has been our problem battery. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have suggestions as to what I can do better, let me know. I did the Epsom salt treatment where I put Epsom salt into some of these cells. Uh, the cells that I tossed, that I sent to the recycler, got Epsom salt in them. Um, what else? I shook them. I didn't pour anything out, but when the recycler, when it was pouring out the electrolyte from the batteries, you could see a lot of white, and that white was a sulfation. So some of these batteries were really badly sulfated. From what I understand, we can never recover full capacity from these batteries, but if you think about it, uh, 750 amp hours, I have close to 9 kilowatt hours in batteries. If I could get 1 or 2 kilowatt hours out of them every night, I'm a very, very happy guy. So the goal is not to get full capacity. The goal is to recover enough for, the, for people to use through the night, charge their phones, maybe run their fans, and then the next day, we turn everything off, charge it, and then just keep repeating the process and see if we get any improvements. But I'm pretty encouraged. What is encouraging me, the fact that I'm seeing the white breaking up slowly, I saw it on the two that I told you were bad, that encourages me very, very much. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, if, you, if you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, do give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.